of the hour on the hour from American Information Radio. This is Dan Streeter, and at this hour, Groucho has joined brothers Gummo, Harpo, and Chico in death. Zeppo is the only one of the famous Marx Brothers comedy team still alive. Death came to Groucho tonight at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. Hospital spokesman Larry Baum told reporters... Comedian Groucho Marx expired at 7.15 this date, August 19, 1977. The cause of death is listed as pneumonia. With him when he passed away were his son Arthur, his daughter-in-law Lois, and his grandson Andrew. We have not been informed of any arrangements as yet. That was Cedar sinai spokesman Larry Baum. Also at the hospital, correspondent Tom Schell told us about Groucho's final hours. In the last few hours of his life, uh, Groucho was visited by members of his family, his son Arthur and his wife Lois, also his grandson Andrew. Aaron Fleming, who was his longtime companion, uh, visited the hospital this evening. She arrived uh, about an hour or maybe two hours before he died. She was permitted to go in and visit with Groucho for a few minutes, and then she uh, started a vigil outside the room. Uh, Groucho was unconscious most of the time, but the hospital said that he did regain consciousness a few times during the last few hours. That was correspondent Tom Shell. Groucho's tribute to Tuscaloosa. That story coming up. Groucho was the ringleader of the Zany Marx Brothers. The titles of their movies reflect their brand of humor. Films such as The Coconuts, Animal Crackers, Monkey Business, Horse Feathers, Duck Soup, A Night at the Opera. The Coconuts and Animal Crackers were also hit stage shows in the 1920s. Groucho's character was unmistakable. A cigar, mustache, and bushy eyebrows, glasses, a duck-like loping strut, a lecherous leer, and the ever-present cigar. That was Groucho. And here's a sample of Groucho's humor. One morning, I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas, I don't know. Then we tried to remove the tusks, but they were embedded in so firmly that we couldn't budge them. Of course, in Alabama, the Tuscaloosa. Groucho began entertaining a new generation in the 1950s through the radio and television series of quiz shows called You Bet Your Life. <laughs> You Bet Your Life is now being shown in reruns on many television stations, and the old Marx Brothers movies are still seen from time to time. Groucho Marx, who brought laughter to millions of people through five decades, is dead at the age of 86. The government reports the cost of living last month went up four-tenths of one percent. That's the slowest rate of increase in consumer prices since the end of last year. A federal jury in Baltimore has gone through nine days of deliberations now without reaching a verdict in the corruption trial of Maryland Governor Marvin Mandel. This is Information Radio News. Britain's highest-ranking woman police officer has taken charge of Scotland Yard's scandal-plagued pornography squad. 49-year-old Commander Daphne Skillern says she's no prude and doesn't want to return to the Victorian standards, but she says some of the magazines and other materials openly on sale are disgusting. Skillern takes over the smut division of Scotland Yard following the sensational trials in which some of Britain's top police men were convicted of taking bribes from sex shop operators. <laughs> I'm Dan Streeter, and that's the news. Hear news of the hour, on the hour, around the clock, from American Information Radio. A service of ABC News.